Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and today we've got episode 11 of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. And today, we don't have anything major planned. This is kind of a mini update. Just sewing some stuffy stuff. We got our chicken stuff here. Uh, and first, to show you everything the chicken farm has done, and I've been uh, AFKing for about, probably about six, almost 16 hours total AFKing. Let's see how much we got. Ta-da! Nah, JK, I'm kidding. Uh, most of the stuff, boop, got transferred down to the underground base. I was just trolling you guys. Uh, and look how many eggs we got. Ta-da! Nah, I'm kidding. We probably could fill up like three double chests of those. But I toss all the eggs in there so we can get a crap ton of babies in there to slaughter mercilessly. That sounded kind of wrong. But who cares? And I can't get over looking at this cool place. I gotta decorate it more. But this is one of the builds I'm most proud of. Oh, first thing, as you can see, I have removed the farm. Because now that we have automated chicken, uh, there's no need for a farm. And that thing, after getting the cobbles, uh, the the whole automated water destroying system, it was just so ugly. Uh, I mean, I couldn't get it to even work correctly. It was so annoying. Uh, so I just logged on to this world, so it's going to experience some lag. Let me just load in these chunks so my iron farm will start working because it seems kind of wasteful. Oh, I thought I turned off the clicking sounds. Oops, sorry for the clicking sounds. I turned them up a little so I hear Mineplex. Because, as you may know, Mineplex Madness Episode 1 just came out. So go check out Mineplex Madness. And we are still at 13 subscribers. Do, 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 do. But it, it, hopefully we can get into the triple digits someday. I doubt it'll ever happen because, I'm, as you may know, I'm not very good at YouTube. And update with the map, all you can see is that the farm is gone. Sad face. Da, na, 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 na. But who cares? Uh, bubbly pub, nothing's changed in the construction. I've been too lazy to construct. But the main stuff is down the underground base. Whop. I'm sorry, I loaded in those chunks and that made it lag so bad. I had like no lag, and now that I loaded in those chunks, it's insane. Uh, now it's better. Uh, so let me show you. As you can see, 16 hours of AFKing gets you a lot of iron. I won't be hurting for iron anytime soon. Or roses. I've used a few stacks, but I'll show you what they're for in a minute. And the sugar cane also is not hurting, because I got this, that's full, up to here, and here, and here, and here. All the way up to this dirt block. And this one's already almost full. I've only AFK'd a few hours. Well, like an hour or two since uh, they started going to this chest. So once it gets to about there, I'll eternally shut off the sugarcane generator. Because I don't need that much sugarcane. I already have more sugarcane than I will ever use. My slime farm actually started working again. I've been standing in that chunk with the chicken farm. And that's actually quite close to the chunk with my slime farm, actually. Uh, so it's actually working, which makes me extremely happy. Now, 16 hours of AFKing, and you're going to see this many feathers. Ba -na -na -na! And almost a, over half a double chest, so over a normal chest, completely full of feathers. Wow. Hashtag feather obsession. And here's the chicken. Boom! Almost two rows of stacks. Of chicken! Of chicken! I will never go hungry again, as you can see. This is delicious. I've extended the room a little, because soon I'm going to need to with all these automated farms I'm building. It's pretty insane. Now we got two more updates in this medium episode. I try to make short episodes sometimes. Oh, but I accidentally so do it. Uh, but uh, they end up being really long when I mean to make short episodes. Like, I try to make a five-minute episode, and it ends up being 30 minutes long. But uh, here it is. I've worked on... The storage room. Ba -na 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 -na. So as you can see, I tricked out the walls. I still have yet to trick out the floor down there. I got carpets in, which, as you know, for the last, like, five episodes, I've had, like, ten carpets over there. And this took, like, five stacks of carpets to get it all covered. 
And as you can see, I've done this pattern with the stone bricks and the st uh, smooth stone slabs. I think it looks really good. My plan is to add some redstone lamps in here, but I don't have any glowstone. Uh, but it's going to look really cool. And I need to do the floor and the ceiling. But uh, you got to admit, it looks a lot better. I might need to change the colors around to make it look a little better. Because I was originally going for a sandy tone, and I go went for a stony tone. So it looks a tad bit weird, but I think it'll work because it matches really well with the red, the sandy tones. And for the last update for today, as you may know, and I've been trying to leave this base, it's always been so freaking annoying uh, because uh, I have to walk up those stairs and I have to eat a bunch of food because it takes so much hunger. Those troubles are over forever. And as you can see, the lighting glitch there just stopped, but not on this side, which makes it really weird looking. And now I'm sad. Uh, but here we got a minecart elevator. Now, minecart elevators are minecart elevators are really simple. You basically uh, just look at the webcam for a second. You place a ladder here. You place a block on top of that ladder. On top of that block, you put a railway. On top of that railway, you put a minecart. You break the block, and the minecart falls onto the ladder. So then you can access it. And you just hold left click, and you go up. See? Jump, boop, 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 and as you can see, I'm here. But I was going slow so you could see the individual minecarts. I can actually go up in about two seconds, as opposed for like 30 seconds uh, before. Whenever I walk over near this iron farm, it's so laggy. I need to fix that. I know there's better item elevators. I've learned about it like from Mumbo Jumbo, who gave me the idea for the chicken farm. Uh, but before we end the episode, let's just try that again at full speed. Uh, it's pretty freaking awesome. I do have to say, this is one of my more impressive, uh, well, one of my more favorite builds. I need to make it all pretty, though. Did you see how fast that was? That was literally three seconds tops. Like two and a half seconds to get up there. I love it so much, and I need to get out of this chunk where this stuff keeps lagging me. How come a few blinking redstone torches lags me, but 50 million chickens in that farm doesn't do a single thing to me? Like, see, I'll go over right next to those hundreds and hundreds of chickens, and my frame rate is higher than and near just those few redstone torches. I mean, seriously, what is wrong with you? Uh, let's see, these guys don't even really lag me, it's crazy. Uh, and I saw Henry the Enderman over there. Hey, Henry the Enderman, you're supposed to be at Sky Factory of Sunday and Craner. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mini episode of, uh, uh, of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. Mini in quotation marks, because it's probably like 30 minutes long or something. And if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe and join the actual empire. That would be lovely. Yeah, just think about it. Don't go away. Just think about it for a few seconds, and you can leave. Uh, but you don't have to subscribe. It's not a requirement, uh, but just think about it. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and goodbye!